everyone. So I have sort of a large thrift store haul. I went to three different thrift stores over the past week or so and I thought I would show you what I got and all of these items are to be used in crafting. Uh, the first thing I bought are a bunch of dishes and some of them were 50% off and some of them weren't and the reason I purchased these is because I want to do a shabby chic mosaic tabletop with broken china uh, but the problem I'm having is some of these pieces are so pretty and they're in such good condition I don't want to break them so that's the tough part I don't know what I'm gonna do um, bowls are a little trickier but um, if I cut if I cut the I have some glass cutters and nippers so I'm thinking if I cut it along the rim and then also cut the center part. This one would be okay. I believe this one was 50% uh, off. And this one was made in Japan. And it's really pretty, just as it is. I mean, I, I don't know. It's going to be hard to bust it up, but maybe I will. Um, this is kind of a newer one, but I like the pattern around the border. And I thought that would look pretty. And then these are so super gorgeous. I really don't think I can cut these or break them. Um, there were three plates. And hopefully the lighting is not too bright. But they're really pretty. And they have sort of a, I don't know, like an iridescent look to the edges. And they're not marked. But I found three plates and three bowls. And these were at that thrift store for over a month, so they were 50% off, so they were a dollar each. They're really pretty, though. I really don't think I can break those. Uh, these I can break. There's a set of four, and uh, they were $2.95. They were not on sale. And uh, I think that will look pretty on the mosaic table. And I bought two of these. These were also 50% off, so a dollar each. Um, I think these will work out pretty nicely. And this one is really pretty, so there's no chips on it. I don't think I'm going to be able to break this one, but uh, if I do, it's it's really pretty. This one. Oh, it's Limoges, made in France. Yeah, I probably will not be breaking that one. It was $3.95. So pretty. And this one. I can break and I think that can be cute in my mosaic and I have two of those so those are the dishes and then I found these two valances these are uh, Laura Ash not Laura Ashley um, Rachel Ashwell shabby chic brand from Target and uh, they're sort of patchwork uh, how many are there oh, there's four I'm sorry there's four valances and I'm not sure if I'm going to use them as valances, maybe in my daughter's room, or make pillows out of them, or what I'm going to do with those, craft with them, make flowers, that kind of thing. Okay, this was exciting. I found this today. It was $7.95. Or no, I'm sorry, $7.67. Oh, no, bedding was 50% off. So this was 50% off. And uh, Johnny and Gina, look what I found. Uh, another Chanel bedspread. And it's cute because it has pink flowers. It's like a light pink and it has pink flowers. Or maybe they're butterflies. I'm not even sure. But I thought that was really pretty. It's in good condition though, so I don't know if I'll be able to cut it up. Oh, that's the problem. If it, if it had a rip in it or something, I wouldn't, you know, mind. But that's going to go in the wash. That over there. Okay, what else? Um, I found some of the stuff I haven't even looked at yet. I found flashcards and a random little doily to cut up. So these flashcards are not, you know, they don't have pictures on them or anything, which I would die to find some that did, some old vintage flashcards, but I figure these can be used in some way. Uh, so let's see. They're nice and aged, so I do like that. You know, they've got that, like, aged patina to them. So I've got those. 
in. This is a big bag. Oh, okay. I found more flashcards. And let's see. These are words. So these could be cute to use. They had a lot of flashcards, a lot of different flashcards, just not exactly what I was looking for. So let's take a look. These are smaller. Hmm, I can learn some new words. Dissuade Cloister. Yeah, so those, you know, and then on the back it has green printing. So we'll use those for something. They're, they do have like a nice yellow color to them. And I found, I haven't opened this yet, but I found a big stack of greeting cards. They had a lot. Um, they always, at this particular thrift store, they have usually lots of bags of greeting cards. Um, most of them aren't very old or anything like that. I have in the past found old ones. These aren't, but I saw the kitty cats, so I had to get the kitty cats. Uh, I won't flip through all these, but there's um, all kinds of cards in here. Oh, that's pretty. Those are stickers. Look at that. Those are pretty. Natural History of Carolina, Florida, and the Bahama Islands. Okay. Yeah. Hanukkah. Season's greetings. Oh. That's pretty. Oh, bunnies. Okay, so I can probably find something to do with all of these. Oh, these are like Easter seals. Yeah, they are Easter seals. Cute. St. Anthony. Like a, a little metal. Yeah, so those are the cards I found. Oh, wait, I did buy two packs. Okay, yes, because this one had a cute little beagle. So I will open it real quick. Like I said, I won't go through all of them and bore you, but um, they had a bunch. You know, it's hard for me to control myself sometimes, but I did. Okay, so animals, thank you cards. Oh, that looks kind of old. It's just stationary. Memo pads. So, a bunch of different cards and envelopes. If you ever find these um, boxes at the thrift store, at my thrift store they're $1.91 and they usually have tons of envelopes in them so if you make envelope minis, things like that, they're pretty good to have. Okay, next I found an old dictionary. It's not a super old one but I think it's 1950s if I remember. It's a Webster's Dictionary. It was $3.43. And I liked this one because the pages were kind of yellow. Yeah, the copyright is 1960. So, um, you know, definitely good to use in altered art. The pages will last a lifetime. And then I found some great vintage craft books. So these are mostly crochet books, and this one is dolls. They're just, they're really cute. It's hard for me to resist vintage craft books or flyers. Um, this one I got because it has doilies, tablecloth, and different things like that. Headrest covers. Yeah. 
This one is flower doily, so I had to get that one, of course. And a new pansy doily. These are so fun. So maybe I'll try some of these if I get some time this weekend. This one is um, table cloths. So lots of doilies in here. And of course you don't have to make the whole thing. You could just make one doily. I don't think I'd ever be able to do that. This one, I have no idea what that is. Hiawatha? Hmm. Oh, it's some sort of beading. Wow, look at the size of that waist. Do you see that? Oh my goodness. Cinch belt. It says it's uh, designed to make a shining minute of your waist. Yes. That does not look comfortable. So, but I love the old photographs. And... Uh, Patchwork Grannies. This is a crochet book of different granny squares. This one is crochet pillows. Not much to that. This one I love. I might have to do some of these for Sophie for her Barbies. Crocheted fashion doll clothes. No pictures inside. Oh, ballet tutu. Oh, I see. Right there. Uh, crocheted scraps to beauty afghans. Look at this one. Dolls and dolls. 1951. I love that. And this one I thought was funny. It says, in crochet. These are um, 88 cents each. So I guess this was in, I don't know, what is that, 60s, 70s? Let me see if it says on here. I'm not sure that it says. <clears throat> yeah, it's groovy. <laughs> Yeah, so those were the crochet books that I found. And then, the last thing I found, and I haven't opened it yet, but I was very, very excited for this, is uh, this bag of rosaries. So, I love rosaries. And I thought this was really cute. It's a little pocket. I think I had something like this when I was little. And there's a rosary in here. That's a pretty one. With all different colored beads. So, I love that. And uh, I will be, of course, sharing and gifting a lot of this stuff. Here's one that comes with a pink pouch. But this is for like First Communion or something like that. Oh, that, that's pretty too. Oh, look at that. Oh, October. It's Rose. Rose Birthstone. Um, rosary. Here's another one with black beads. Oh my goodness, a lot of rosaries. That's the same. So, some of these are tangled up, but um, they're really nice. I really like them. Some of them seem, you know, they're not super old, but they're older, you know. Oh, look at this. Here's a cute angel keychain. 
I have someone in mind for that. Oh, isn't this pretty? I can't wait to go through all these, but I don't want to take up your time and do it on camera. Here's another keychain. Oh, there's a few keychains in here. And necklaces. So I'll have to, oh, look at all these little medals and charms. I was really, really happy to find this. It was um, more money than I usually spend for one thing at the thrift store, but to me, well worth it. It was $13.31. It was not on sale. $13.31. But uh, I do love rosaries, and um, having spent a lot of time at the convent growing up, uh, they're special to me, and uh, because my aunt is a nun. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that before, but um, when my parents divorced when I was eight, I, uh, my aunt sort of took over for me. She's also my godmother. So, so I will definitely be sharing these and treasuring these. They're really pretty. So, oh, and a random earring. So those are my finds um, from the thrift stores this week. And I spent a little more than I like to shopping this week. So I'm probably going to lay low and take it easy uh, for the next couple weeks. <laughs> Stop spending money. But I like everything that I found, and um, I'll keep you posted on my mosaic table, see if I can actually um, break any of these plates over here and, and what I come up with. And that is it. I hope you guys all have a great weekend, guys and gals, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.